Good, good morning, everybody. Um, we are getting ready to head into 2024. Today is the 29th of December, 2023. Um, like you didn't know that, right? Well, if you watch this later, this will be a video posted in my YouTube channel. So I just want to make sure I have the dates there. A lot of you ordered <clears throat> from my unique sale this last month and especially when we had our 30 to 65 percent off sale so what I'm going to try to do is make some videos knowing what you all ordered and try to kind of help you out with your um, get ready process and learning how to use new tools and new products a lot of times we get our we order stuff we see things we get it and it's like now what do I do so I want you all to join um my YouTube channel. I am going to post that below or I'll post it somewhere here in in the VIP group for sure. But this will be also in the uh, YouTube channel. And that way you can go back when you have time and you can refer to it then. I think it's so important for us to have follow through no matter what it is, whether it's this that we're doing together, anything we need lots of follow through. So speaking of follow through, um, those of you who are walking into 2024 with me and trying to um, just get control back of our skincare, I, I'm here to help you and I'm here to guide you. And I've been on that journey already for about five-ish, going on maybe six -ish months, months. So I am going to shoot some new um, collagen before and after pictures for you of my skin. It's kind of hard to see if you've been following me. It's kind of hard to see the progress unless you see it side by side. So the collagen is phenomenal. Comment below more information on the collagen if you would like that. I'm not going to go into detail. I do a lot of posting about the collagen because I believe in the collagen. The other thing that I have been using um, diligently the last little while, and I don't know why I put this um, behind, I think we got some new products and I just didn't know how to implement it in, but it is a lifesaver with my skin and that is the beauty oil. This bad boy I've had for a year, at least a year, okay? Um, I It's not going to last me quite that long because I have done a little bit more information checking on it and I'm going to use it daily, not just every here and there like I would a mask. So this is going to go under my eyes, across my nose Know that I can put my makeup right over top of it because this is going to soak in. It is not an oily oil product. It's it's an oil that's going to penetrate into your skin. Lots of good good things in here. Number one number one um, thing in here. Very first ingredient is squalene. Squalene. I never say it right, but <clears throat> do a little bit of research on that. And that is the first ingredient in this bottle. So I've been using this daily. I use it on my psoriasis. I got a little on my chest. It's the only thing that makes it like calm down and, and begin to go away. I don't care what I put on it. It's just angry. I put this on it and it's amazing. And you can contact me as well if you want a little more information on that. I love this oil under my eyes. Um, uh, you are not going to break out pimply from this, this oil, okay? This is a... This is an oil that your skin needs that penetrates deep down into your skin. And we all need that. Yes, we need hydration, but we also need the oils. So stay tuned um, on that. I'm going to let that soak in just for a moment. I'd like you to pause your video if you are getting ready with me. And I'd like you to begin by finding your um, primer. I'm going to use the illuminating today and whatever preference of foundation you are using. If you are using a dry product, get a nice fluffy brush to just kind of fluff it on. If you are using any liquid at all, I'd like you to grab your Kabuki brush. All right, so we're going to hold out right there a minute. Let everybody grab theirs, and we will come back. So pause your video. Okay, now the first thing that we want to do is pin the mop back. If you have any mop in your face, um, <laughs> that's what my mom used to call it when you had long hair in your face was your mop. Um, okay, and then we are going to grab our primer and whatever foundation. I am using the liquid. I had a lot of people who purchased this. If you have the powder, 
I know there's someone who purchased the powder, get a nice fluffy brush, and you're gonna do that. If you do not have the illuminating primer, you're just gonna start with the powder or whatever primer you have, okay? Um, and then you're going to use the powder. If you are using a liquid, I highly recommend that you mix your primer with your liquid. So I am going to mix mine. Um, I use about five drops of one color. I use all squirt. This is not science, guys. This is just, you figure out what looks pretty. You can add, you can take away. Um, so then I'm going to just this plump that's on here. I'm going to pick it all up on my brush just like that. And then I'm going to start to do this. I really like um, the, uh, I feel like I get a little bit more benefit from the illumination if I put it in my foundation versus um, on my face and then put my foundation over. Now I will tell you, those of you who ordered the Kabuki brush from the sale, the unique sale score, this is the best Kabuki brush. I don't know what it is, but it has something to do with the hairs. I did read up on it. My memory shot. Um, it has something to do with the hairs and how it applies. So you're going to get that all in there. I'm going to look over here my times 10 mirror real quick. Oh, darn. I don't have a... There we go. Usually I have some batteries in there. Um, all right. So I need a little up here. Make sure you get it nice and even over here by your hairline. And if you have blonde hair... Take yourself a little tissue, and I want you to go in and wipe those little follicles off if they get color on them, okay? Because you don't want to run around looking like you plopped all this makeup in your hairline, right? All right, now I'm going to do a full thing today. So, the next thing that we're going to do, um, excuse me, y'all know me who've been following me. Guess what time it is? Runny nose time every time in the morning. All right. So those of you who were following along about puffy eyes, first of all, the oil, the collagen is going to help with that more than any cover up. Sometimes when we cover up, we actually make it look worse. And I was doing that for years. And I'm like, God, I'm not, what am I doing wrong? I really wasn't doing anything wrong. My skin was stiffer and it was aging. I needed to do something different. So I want you to take that and just put it right along that cheekbone. I don't want you to get right up underneath here. If you need something, this will go underneath there all by itself. If you have a lot of red there, take a little lighter color. You don't necessarily need um, the cover-up, um, concealer they call it. If you do have it, I suggest you um, water it down a little bit with maybe some of your primer or um, some lotion. We want to keep this smooth under here. We don't want to accentuate. So when I want a little bit more brightness under there, I take, I mix two colors of um, makeup. One is chiffon. And sometimes I try not to get to just the, what is it? The organza, um, which is the lighter color. I use the tanning drops. I don't use them on my face, but I use them all over. So then, um, then my skin and my neck all match. But anyway, not it's here nor there. So I'm going to put a drop, one little teeny tiny drop of the lighter foundation and a little tiny bit of my primer. I'm going to put that on my brush if you want a little more lighting underneath here. Again, you're not going to go way up in here. Okay, let it seep its way up in there. Personally, I'm not loving. Okay, I need my kabuki brush. So you can dab that right along that little line, that little bone right here. Okay, now you don't want to illuminate too much under here. I might have a little much. So you want to highlight right here. You don't want to highlight in, in your creases. So then I'm going to take my kabuki brush, whatever is left on it, and I'm just going to pat that in. Okay, now in the end, I'm going to put a powder under there, which may seem counterproductive, but it is not. Um, if you're using the right powder, that's going to also help to hide that underneath. Um, 
it's going to help cover up the dark circles and it's going to help kind of blur that all in. Okay, so now I want you all to clean off your brushes. I want you to pause the video and I want you to go ahead and grab, let's grab the eyes. Let's go ahead and I'm trying to think. I don't think I had a lot of you that ordered, um, ordered the um, eyeshadow. So whatever eyeshadow you're using or you have, go grab that now. You're going to need at least three colors. Okay. Excuse me. Um, so grab three colors and I'll meet you back here in just a moment because I got to go pick out my three. Okay. Pause it. Okay. So everyone has their tools. A lot of you have this new all-in-one tool, which I am going to use. Um, right here i'm going to use this eyeshadow brush from that only because i know a lot of you have that brush right now um the other brush that i really love for this well there's several of them so you really have to find what works really well for you and i like my big brushes but this is i can do everything with this all in one so um again you have to do you <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go into this palette right here. I don't know what number it is, but it is the Addiction palette. I've showed this palette a lot, and I know some of you have it, and some of you just have some random colors. <clears throat> I think I am going to go in. You want to keep your lid nice and light, so I'm going to try to find which light color. I, I think I'm going to do, well, one of these two colors right here. Hmm, I think I'm going to do that bottom more creamy color. Let's see. Let's see. I think that might be. There we go. I need something that the other color blended with my eyelid. Okay, so it was more my skin tone. Now, remember, these are heavily pigmented. So when you dip in, especially when you are dipping into a color, um, you want to be very, very cautious. So this is very forgiving doing on the lid. And I'm just gonna go up a little higher and because I'm gonna accent my lid a little bit later. So you're gonna put your very light color on your lid. Now we are going to do, I have really been in love with greens the last while, but I'm having a hard time finding the right green. All right, sorry, nothing works well without coffee. <clears throat> All right, so I think you're going to pick your next, like, a medium color, <clears throat> whether it's a brown, a purple, a you have to work your skin tones and your magic. I'm going to go into, hmm, let's do some browns today. A lot of you like browns. Oh, a lot of you have the pocket palette. That's amazing to do it with, too. Grab your pocket palette. Um, as a matter of fact, hold on, there is a... The pretty natural pocket palette I wanted to use to show okay there it is to show um, someone who just purchased this what you are going to do with your pocket palette so your pocket palette has that light color which you could take and you can use on your lid if you have this natural and you got this on sale you can use that one on your lid um, then there's another light beige color here and kind of a pinky beige color here. You're gonna use those for your contouring and you can use those for um, your eyes. So I think what I'm gonna do here <clears throat> is I'm gonna go into the bottom one and I am going to clean off my brush. I have this little can, remember, and I clean off my brush. And so I'm gonna use this one just a little bit right above Okay, so if you have hooded eyes, open open your eye just like you would. Go right above. You can come just below the brow with that color. Okay, just below the brow. It's okay, ladies, to do that. So once we do that, one second. I am going to continue to put this and blend this right here. And I'm going to pause my video as well. Um, and then you'll come back and see what I have on. Now you can take this all the way, just not completely from the corner, about right there, just a little bit from the corner. Bring it up. Don't drag a lot. Um, pat. 
remember, as we have aging skin. So you go ahead and get that second color just above your eye and then get ready for your third and darkest color. Okay, now I've got that. When I open my eyes, I should be able to see my shadow, okay? And that's what's gonna keep your eye a little bit more open. Now we're working out of this natural palette and if you don't have this, um, I think I can get you a discount of about 10% off of this palette right now. It was just on sale yesterday. Okay, let me open it. Um, okay, so now we have this darker color. I used this one just above the eye, kind of a medium. This is gonna be a very subtle look, okay? And then I'm gonna go into that little darker color. <clears throat> All righty. <clears throat> and I will probably do a little bit more, but those of you who have this palette, I'm just gonna kind of show you what you can use it for. All right, so the darker color always goes on the outer edge, and you can actually bring it in here if you want a little bit as well. But we're gonna stick with the outer edge. I don't wanna get too complicated here today. So you are just taking and you are dabbing this with your all-in-one beauty brush that you got with your pocket palette if you have one, or you're doing this with whatever, whatever, um, brush that you have that you are comfortable with. I do not suggest sponges. They just don't blend well. Um, just That's just me. If you love a sponge, though, you do what you need to do, right? All right, cleaning again my brush because I'm going to take this darker color. I'm going to go underneath my eye a hair right here. Okay, so I'm using this the tip of this brush to do that with. I also have a liner brush, which I will use in a little while in inside of here. It's the next one down and we'll use that in a moment. Okay, so now we've got that little bit of a lift right in here because we used that darker color. If you are a brush guru like me, um, I love to take this fluffy brush and just kind of blend it a little bit so I don't have a really, really harsh look. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm gonna go down into this little tiny liner brush. You could use this color right here and just go on the inside right along that water line. I'm gonna go into a little bit darker color in, my, in this palette here. This is why it's kind of nice to have a lot of colors and you can really get creative. I'm gonna tap that off so I don't get too much. I'm going to take and tap. I'm not going to drag. I'm going to tap under the eye. See how that is a little bit darker? And then I'm going to take that and create a tiny little, not a wing, just an eyelash. That's what they call it when you do the tiny little, like, kind of disappearing color. All right, do you see how that will lift that side even a little bit more? So I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other side. Just used a little darker brown tap. I try really hard not to drag. I have kind of a funky eye over here. Oh, that went up a bit much, but we can clean that up later. Okay, I know why that happened too. I did not dab off my brush. Okay, so I'm gonna blend that in a little bit. I'm just gonna blend that. Now I'm going to get that, oh, I'm going to tap it off, and I'm going to get that tiny little eyelash there. So this eye is all funky. It's all funky. It never works as well as the other one, but it's okay. It's my eye, right? And it works, and I can see. Okay, so now I am a liner girl. I would like, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to curl my eyelashes, um, and then I'm going to use a little bit more liner. So Go ahead, if you do that, do that, pause the video, otherwise just keep on a rolling and we'll keep going. But I'm gonna take a little pause and I'm gonna curl my eyelashes quick. So pause the video, you won't even know I'm gone. <clears throat> okay, I curled my eyelashes and now I'm gonna go back in to this palette just so you are aware of how to use this palette. And I'm going to, oops, <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little sparkle in the center of the eye. I'm actually going to use a different color over in the corner. 
um, only because I can't get as bright of a color from this palette as I would like for my corner. <clears throat> so taking this right where your eyeball is, getting a little bit of highlight right in the middle of the eye will help pop the eye open. Now, if this is all you have, you go right ahead and you use that in the corner. That is what you're going to use in the corner of your eye. I am going to go into something just a little bit lighter. Um, see how that brightens a little bit more than the other color did. I like to cover up the purple in the corner of my eye. And this also just kind of opens the eye and accentuates. Now, if you want, I'm going to clean that brush off. If you want, you can take your blending brush and just kind of blend in and up if you like a little more blended look. All right, ladies. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my brown eyeliner and pencil. I'm going to go in on that waterline on the lower edge, the waterline. And while you're doing this, if you need to take a little more time than I do until you get this all down pat, you pause the video here and you do your waterline and then we come back. I need to sharpen my pencil. Because I can feel the edges. Don't do that, okay? I just didn't want to stop the video. You feel those edges. You do not want to poke your eyeball. Okay? Now, in your um, all-in-one brush... <clears throat> like I said, whoops, where'd it go? You have this, whoops, I'm looking at myself in the mirror over there. Um, you have this little angled liner brush, and you're going to smooth things out with that because you don't want that harsh, um, do you ever look and you see women, it's like, it just looks like it's all matted in their lashes or whatever because it's, it's drawn on and then they don't blend it out. Um, so you want to blend that out. You always want to keep it kind of soft. Now I want to clean that off. <clears throat> all right, that brush is all cleaned off. We are going to begin with... Uh, where did my... I have done so many videos now I can't find my stuff. Let me see. Hold tight. I'm going to grab my mascara and you can all grab yours too. Okay, I'm going to use two different mascaras today. Always using my tubing. And this is all you need. You only need one. I'm going to use two today because I've been playing with the two and I want to continue to play with the two to see how I like it. Um, I The tubing mascara has a serum in it and it has a primer in it. So this is priming my lashes as it's putting the serum on there to help them to grow and stay healthy. So it's like putting conditioner on your lashes. It's tubing technology. That means this is wrapping around each little lash. It's just wrapping all the way around it like a tube. Okay, so this has two different sides of bristles and you start with, hang on here, my light went out. You start with the short edge. And it really doesn't matter. I It still goes on nice. I like to just take and roll. Start at the bottom and kind of roll up. And what this does is separates. I'm not, I've never been good at putting like mascara on other people and stuff either. So if you can kind of see, I don't know what you saw there. But anyway, you can kind of see the separation and it's not clumpy and all glued together. Now you can keep using this. You can get a beautiful, beautiful lash look. But I think our twisted <clears throat> mascara just never gets enough visual. I use a lot of the 4D. Now that's where you're going to get that really thick. This is your 4D. You're going to get that really thick, voluptuous look out of this. <clears throat> this is going to give you long and thick this is going to kind of give you that medium so there's different there's different elements to each one of these but i always put that on first or only use the quadra because it has all of that good stuff so that is always going to be on my lashes then i'm going to go in <clears throat> i think i may need a new twisted here i see that i've had my twisted for quite 
quite some time. Again, starting at the base, rolling up. Uh-oh. That about went in my eyes. So what I'm going to do is just grab my little brush that I had a minute ago and make sure I got that so close to my eyelash. I can still feel it. So be a little bit, always be careful not to poke yourself in the eyeball. Okay, at the base and wiggle up. Now I'm gonna show you why I pull this one out a lot. And if you wanna know my favorite mascara, my very most favorite is the Quadra. Um, but if I used that all the time, I would not be giving you guys any options. Okay, we're gonna take that in. This is called Twisted because it twists twice. <clears throat> There's your second wand in the top. It took me the longest time to figure that out. I, I bought it um, for the first time many years ago. This little wand is great just to touch down under. It's just perfect. It also lengthens and separates. So um, I could have used that up there first. You got to kind of play around with the look that you like. Okay, once, once you figure that out, then you're golden. And then if you're like me, and then you have to demo all this, it's like, oh, I really want to use this, but I really need to show them this. <clears throat> because we are not all created the same and in the same package, right? All right. <clears throat> I think we are pretty well done with the eyes for today. And I have someone that is very new um, to all of our products. So I would like to show how to use... Um, well, I'm trying to think. I was going to say how to use this palette for concealer and highlighter. Okay, not concealer and highlighter. Um, contour and highlighter. <clears throat> First, we are going to contour right down underneath here. If you have this pretty natural palette, um, this pretty natural palette, and I'm going to send this to the person who ordered it so they know how to use this. Um <clears throat> we're going to go ahead <clears throat> and take that second color. Okay, you're going to have a highlighter and then you're going to use the second one as your contour. So I'm going to take, um, let me find a little brush to contour with. <clears throat> this is an eyeshadow brush, but I like to use this side to do a little bit of contouring. If you like to contour your nose, you're gonna dip into that, both sides. Whoop! You're gonna be very careful not to drop your brush. You're gonna tap it off if you might need to. Um, my nose tends to be a little bit bumpy right in here. Like it protrudes out. So I like to put on each side of there, I come down on each side of my nose if you're trying to make your nose look thinner. And ladies, if you have a nice thin nose, please do not do this because it will make you look like you have no nose. No nose. Okay. Oop, I saw that powder come off of there. All right, so this will get blended. Hang on. Thank goodness for the primer. All right, so underneath, I'm going to take it right to the very top a little bit. Okay. And then... If you want a fuller lip, you're going to contour right underneath here. A little bit. We're going to blend it. No worries. All right, I'm going to clean that brush off in case I use it for my eyeshadow or whatever. Then I'm going to take an angled brush or some kind of a little bit thinner brush, not a big fluffy brush, okay? Not a big brush like this because you want something that you can do that nice little line. So you're going to dip into that color again. Do both sides, maybe even the tip. Figure out how you use your brush. Tap it off. Now, I don't want you to go in like this because this is very heavily pigmented. <clears throat> See? All I did was tap. I'm going to tap up. Okay, can you see that? Now, if you want more, go in for more. <clears throat> and if you don't, stop there. What I'm going to do is suck my cheek in. I'm going to follow that line up a little bit. Okay. 
Now, if you have this palette and you're using it alone, you're gonna go into the next color for your cheek color. I prefer something a little bit more with a purple hue. I have used this, it's very pretty and soft, but I really wanna do what I love today in my, a purple or a pink? I think the Surreal, is it? Well, we'll see what we got, yep. Surreal is my favorite. I am a pretty much go-to purples um, undertones on my face, so that is my preference to use. Okay, we're just going to put that right above that line. Take it up there. Oh, and I forgot to take, and I'm just going to use it up here. Um, I forgot to take that darker color that we contoured with right at the top of my forehead. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little contour up there right now. It's a little bit pinker, but that's all right. Like I said, it's all just a learning curve, right? <clears throat> see, I, see these little white spots? That's that's sun damage, and like things don't stick to it. And oh man, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna clean that brush off, and then I'm just gonna kind of lightly feather upward and blend the two of those together. Then I'm going to just lightly. You don't want to take it all off. I'm gonna lightly pat that in on my nose and under my lip. Then I'm gonna take this sweet little natural palette that we have here and I'm gonna use that very top highlight color. And I'm gonna use that on the tip of my nose. You can also use that, like I said, in the corner of your eye. So we're gonna take that color, dip it in there. I'm going to highlight right in through here. Then I had a customer who purchased this um, palette. They said they wanted a soft highlight look by their cheek. So when you do that, you're not gonna do under your eye. You're gonna do right in this area here. So we're gonna take that highlight again. I have a few highlighters that I like. This one has a little bit more gold undertone. I like the little more white with my skin tone, but this does work. So we're just gonna dab that right in through there. Dab a little there, a little there, just little highlights, little highlights, okay? And that's all you want is that little reflection of light right up in there. Okay, with that said, if you have the pocket palette, <clears throat> you can go ahead and just do your lips with this right here. Um, and it's beautiful. You can line them. You can put that on. You can put a color in the middle. Do what you choose. I'm going to pause my video. I am going to grab a splash color and then my favorite color lipstick. So just stay tuned. I'm gonna show you the splash. The splash is kind of, um, it's one that stays on there without reapplication for a longer amount of time. It is not, um, what do they call it? It is not a stain. It is not a lip stain. So it has more stability than a lipstick, less stability than a lip stain. Um, most lip stains tend to dry out. I know we have created a few of them with lots of moisturizing things in them. I have not used only but one of our lip stains from a long time ago, so we won't go into that. Let's grab a lip splash today if you have it, or whatever lip color you want. Grab your supplies, and we'll come back. Okay, I'm doing super bold today. I want to show you guys something. So this is the lip splash, Okay comes in a tube like this. Do not take this wand and rub it all over your lips unless you want a very bold look and you want that bold color. I'm going to show you what it's like on my hand. That's a lot of color. That's a lot of color for me today. I almost feel like I need more lip, but I'm not going to. Um, all of that lip mask soaked into my lips already. What I'm going to do is put this on my finger. Look at the color. Now, the reason I'm doing this, I don't go this bold. I'm going to mute it out in a minute, but I'm going to clean the tip of this off. And you can use a lip brush if you'd like. I'm going to go right down here. See how I'm going to kind of use it like a liner? Now, if you want your lower lip to look a little plumper, the dark underneath there also line a little farther down. Okay. 
Okay. So then I kind of lined there. Now you all know, and it was just on sale, ladies. I tell you, this minted color, it's mine. It's my color. I'm going to go in. Take that down or I'll bust it off. Uh, I love that ombre look. Okay, I love that ombre look. I'm going to go in the middle a little bit more. With even lighter. And then what you can do is you can take one of your shadows. You can take one of your um, highlighters. Let's just go. We got this pocket palette out. So let's open up that top and let's stick our finger in there. See what that looks like. Yep, I like it. Um, I'm going to take a look. Oh, look at that on my hand already. You can run this underwater and it does not come off. But look, I just wiped over it with that. It's, it's pretty incredible. It's pretty incredible. All right, so then what happened was that gave me that little that little line like a lip liner. And if I wanted to, I could take a lip butter, a lip gloss, and blend it even a little bit more. All right, so two colors, a splash and something lighter in the middle is going to give you that super pretty little lip look. I'm going to put my lipstick away. I don't like it to fall over and then get busted off. So I think we pretty much completed everything for today. If you guys have any questions on this tutorial, I would be happy to answer any of your questions. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit more under there just to show you guys how that pops. And if you want to create a little bit thinner jawline, you're going to put a little darker color right down here. Um, mine kind of dips in right here, so I either put a lighter color here, or I usually take the darker color right on this little bone, so that what it does is it creates the element of that smooth look instead of that kind of dip in there. And you know what? It's okay. I don't do this all the time, just sometimes for fun. Looks like I need to blend right here a little bit. So now what you're going to do is we are going to finally end with our powder. And I know a lot of you are like, oh, not putting powder under my eyes. I'm telling you, girls, you need this. So this powder has little water beadlets in it. We're going to take a little bit, put it in the lid. We are going to finish off here with the setting powder and the setting spray. And that will help your makeup to stay even longer. Okay, so I'm going to take and dip the tip of this in here. I'm going to go down and through here, and, and I literally can feel water. Can you see the difference? I can see the difference already. One side. Look at that. Wow. All right, going back in there. Lighting must be really good today because a lot of times it's hard to see. It's very subtle. Okay, you're just going to dab that. If you need to clean up anything over here, sharpen your edges, you can take this beautiful little triangle thing and um, do that. Okay, I like to get a little under my nose. And then always supposed to be a little lighter above your lip. So you can put that or you can put highlighter there. You can also, if you want to chisel it out a little bit more, you can put some underneath here. I think I'm just going to leave that all alone today. Put my lid on that. Take my tissue, wipe my nose again. I always spray a little bit more on my nose because I'm wiping my nose all day long. Keep it a little ways from your face, okay? So you're going to take that. You're going to let it set. If you're in a big old hurry, take your blow dryer, do that. Um, I have done that in the past when I'm like headed out the door because it is wet. Don't touch your face and rub around. It's, it's going to set your powder. I see a big old water beadlet right there because I was way too close to my face. Then you're going to take, whoops, finish up your hair or take your hair tie out. And away you are going to go and be off and ready for your day. I'm going to go ahead, finish my hair a little bit. Um, like I said, I just plopped out of the shower and hopped on here to help you guys out today. So I hope this was helpful. <clears throat> um, one of the most important products that we used today in this was our uh, pocket palette. Um, I would say check into your splash lipstick. Um, 
always make sure you take care of your skin underneath get the colors find the colors of eyeshadow that you like <clears throat> and um what were some of the most important takeaways today our foundation very very important our beauty oil underneath very very important embrace the skin you're in take care of that skin um don't be like me and try to um repair it at you know between 55 and 59 is when i think when it's like oh god i gotta take care of my skin um but hop on board it's not too late to make things a little bit better we can't go back to 20 we can't go back to the mistakes we made soaking up the sun for how many years with baby oil or whatever you did that's what i did so anyway for now i hope you all have a very wonderful day a very happy new year like i said it is the 29th of december 2023 so very soon 2024 i hope you all have a blessed new year take care ask me any questions that you have and I'm here to help you out. Have a uniquely beautiful day, ladies. Bye.